Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss how we can create a self-signed certificate using PowerCell. So there are few steps which I'm going to follow. So let me quickly explain. The very first thing which I'm going to run is to generate the certificate. So you can see I'm going to run this particular command here. So if you can see the new hyphen self science certificate is a built in command in Microsoft PowerCell. So with, this, with the help of this command, I'm going to generate a self science certificate. So let me quickly explain uh, the entire command basically. So the, you can see the dollar cert is a variable under which I'm going to store the value of my certificate. So new hyphen self science certificate is a command which I'm going to use hyphen DNS name is the name of the certificate which you want. So for example, I have put it here test hyphen com then hyphen cert location cert store location where you want to store your certificates. So here I have provided the path of my certificate manager of my local system. So in PowerCell, when you use new hyphen self science certificate, you cannot use a file path here. Like for example, if I'll provide hyphen certificate location, D drive or uh, some, some folder, you cannot provide. So the first thing, if you have to generate a certificate using Microsoft PowerCell, the certificate is going to store in your certificate manager. And from there, you can export the certificate and then you can use it. Second command, after generating the certificate in certificate manager, I'm going to export that certificate, which we have created as part of this particular step. So the command, which I'm going to run to export the certificate, this is the export hyphen PFX certificate hyphen cert. If you can see, I have used a dollar cert variable. So basically this is the variable which we have declared here to store the certificate and location. So similarly, I'm fetching the value of this variable from here. Now hyphen file path. So this is the location where I'm storing my certificate and hyphen password is a password which I want to set to this certificate. So this is the, this you can see, this is the command I have used convert to secure string hyphen string. Uh, this is the plain text password iPhone force as a, as plain text. So basically I'm going to convert my this simple text format of this password to a secure string. So that's why I have used here convert to secure string. And this is the value of a string which I want to secure. So basically in simple words, this is the password which we are going to set for this certificate, which we have created as part of this particular location. Next after certificate, you have exported the pfx file now if you want to extract the private key of that certificate then you have to use open ssl utility so this is the you can simply search on google open ssl for windows or if you have linux platform then you can search uh, like based on your uh, platform you can download the tool and you can utilize it so i'm going to run to ex ex uh, sorry export the private key of my certificate use it with the help of this command so this is the command open ssl hyphen pkcs is a format hyphen in the certificate the pfx file which we have exported earlier that location i am putting here so hyphen in specify the input file the file which you have generated it means the certificate file hyphen no certs it means we are telling to open ssl i just want to extract the private key but not certificate and how it hyphen out then this is the uh, path where we are storing our private key in a dot pem format and hyphen nodes and hyphen passing so hyphen node we are ensuring that private key which we are uh, gen, uh, exporting that is not encrypted and hyphen passing parameter I'm going to use to provide the export password, which we have set up. And similarly, if you want to export the certificate and you don't want to export the private key, then you have to run this particular command. So this is the same, same command. If you can see here, the, the thing is changed here, hyphen CL certificate and hyphen here, we have put it no certificate. So here we have put a no keys. We don't want any private key. We only want a certificate. So you can see hyphen CL cert means options tells open access to only output the client certificate, but not the private key. So if you have to export separately a private key or certificate, you can utilize these two parameters. Now you have export the certificate 
and now if you want to generate uh, the certificate from .pem file to uh, .cert file then this is the command the convert pm to cert format for that also you have to again use the open ssl parameter sorry utility so open ssl this is the like uh, basically you can see x569 format and this is the command which i'm going to use so let's quickly move to the demo and we'll see how it works basically so i have opened my powershell terminal uh, as a administrator so now the first thing what we have to do we have to generate a self signed certificate so let me quickly go to my uh, command so this is the command which i'm going to use and here i will put any name uh, let's put demo 123 and i'm going to run this particular command so now what happened this particular command new self sign certificate generated the certificate for us but in the certificate manager so let's quickly open the certificate manager here so if i go to uh, trusted so this is the location you can see demo123.com this is the name of the certificate which we have provided in the DNS name and if you see the expiry date it is the one year date it will automatically get so next uh, 28th of August 2025 this certificate will expire so this certificate is generated in a .pfx format so now what you want next you have to export this certificate from this location to your local system so for that let me go back to my uh, presentation and I just quickly copy the command so this is the command to export the certificate so now here you can see the command is export hyphen pfx certificate and this is the location which we have declared as part of this variable so this is a certificate manager location and this is the file path where we want to extract or export the certificate and hyphen password this is the password we are putting uh, for this particular certificate so let me quickly run this command so it's exported so the path we have provided d drive test certificate so let me quickly open the path you can see d drive test certificate.pfx so it means the certificate exported successfully now this is the two commands you have to use to generate a self signed certificate again if you want to export the private key and the certificate in .pm format then you have to use a open ssl utility so let me go back to my presentation now what we will do we will export the private key from this pfx file so here i have specified the location of my pfx file and this is the password which we have set up during the export so let me quickly run it and we can see here we got the private key and you can see we have a specific hyphen node it means we don't want a encrypted private key so if i just quickly edit it you can see we can see the content of this particular private key now the next command if you want to export only the certificate then this is the command which we have to run so here again the location of your pfx file and here we are specifying no keys which it means we don't want any private keys we only want a certificate in the .pem format so let me quickly run this command so if i open my text uh, windows explorer you can see the certificate .pem file now if you want to generate or sorry if you want to convert this .pem file to .crt file then again we have to run one more command to convert so if I'll go back to my presentation, this is the command which we have to run it. Uh, let's quickly verify. So you can see we got the .crt file. In many of the web servers, for example, a Tomcat or a web, uh, Apache web servers, we generally use private key and .crt file. But if still, if you want, you can use the pfx file as well. So I hope it's clear how we have to create a self-signed certificate using PowerShell and then convert that PFX file to uh, any format, the CRT or any format which you want. 
so that's all for today see you in next video thank you so much